what's going on guys welcome back to my channel so today we'll be doing a little review of me uh of my um dashboard lights my ambient lights from one of lighting and i know someone like one of you requested it like a long time ago and i just i haven't had a chance to do it so today um we're gonna do a little review and um how the ambient light looks like on my dashboard when it's dark outside so let's get into it all right so let me just start the car real quick all right so this is what the one up lighting dash light or ambient light looks like at night let me just turn off my footwell see it better close my window I mean my door as you can see right over here you can see right over here it's like this is one of the uh, optic lights the beams that's what I put it put it all around just like my show just like how I showed it to you when I was uh, filming it that's what it looks, it looks like at night so from here and then once you reach on this side right right on this side it it turns a little dull I don't know maybe because of the uh, straws being um, held by the stuff right over here so I plugged it in let me see I plugged it in with a cigarette plug right over here this is the one and just like what I explained to you it's gonna come with the uh, QR code that you're gonna scan so I just left it in there and so it's pretty much what it looks like at night and uh, I'm gonna film it from the back seat so you could could see the full view of the uh, lights itself all right guys I apologize if this video is really dark in here but the main purpose of this one is for the ambient light so this is gonna be controlled by the app this one's look like this one right over here and once you open it what you're gonna do first time users I literally have to download it on my iPad so I just press OK and it doesn't matter whether you allow it or not and it's gonna come out to be like this one RGB LED BLE so you just press on it and it's gonna automatically scan and once it's connected it's gonna show there's one number over there so as you can see right over here that's what the ambient looks like from the back seat and if you're gonna notice I don't know if the camera's catching it like on this side on the driver's side it's a lot brighter compared to the passenger side it's like slowly fades away that's because I have two of the optic lights on this corner right behind the steering uh, wheel the reason why I did both of the uh, optic lights beam on this side I was like actually thinking about using the other two for the doors but there's no point for me just like what I mentioned earlier that's not I mean it's for me it's pointless because there's there's no lights in the back seat and I kind of don't like an imperfect look so this is what the app's gonna look like and you can just choose red and it's gonna choose like this one right over here change the color green blue which is my theme goes back to white yellow and purple and just put this in blue and as for this one you could actually customize it you want to add some colors right over here and there's modes right over here try color jump and just select seven color jump it's gonna look control like this right over here try color gradient seven color gradient uh, red gradient green blue yellow cyan purple white red blue red flash all that stuff so it's pretty much the same uh, modes with my high beam with my tri-color my dual high beam my dual colored high beam lights I'm just put this in blue and that's pretty much it so and at the same time you could customize it or go with the music I didn't really play around with the app itself because I've seen some comments 
um, while I was um, downloading the app that sometimes like it doesn't work that you have to reconnect it um, after some time but I haven't really had any of that problems because I stick with one color but it's up to you guys whether you want to play with your car I mean uh, with the app you want to play around with the um, lights itself but for me just like consistency and solid colors so I hope this helps and my rate for this light I would probably say like 6.5 or 7 give or take uh, it's just that for the money that you're spending I just wish that they would add two more um, projectors for the lights itself so at least you could have a feel I mean full um, feel of the uh, lights itself and I still have extra strips but then it, it's only probably like enough for two more um, optic lights and that's pretty much it i thought the um light would be um brighter i mean the brightness is already up to like 100 percent, but for me it's not bright enough and that's why i was like telling you earlier i don't know if you could notice it on the um camera it's like it starts it's not a major problem like it just fades a little bit but for me it's just like what i mentioned earlier i like a consistency or like at least everything has to be the same so that's pretty much it guys i hope this information is this video is very informative and don't forget to hit that like and smash that subscribe button and help your boy reach a thousand and i'll see you guys in the next one peace